I'll just take that one. A popsicle is safe for Adelina Zeman, but not everything is. I was throwing up and my like skin was really rashy. Adelina is allergic to peanuts, and she knows all too well that she can't enjoy everything her little sister Zoe can. She and her friend got into a bag of what they thought was M&Ms, but were Reese's Pieces. One in 50 kids have a peanut allergy like Adelina. It's the most likely food to cause a reaction. In fact, there's been a 21% increase in peanut allergies in children since 2010. <laughs> New immunotherapy, or OIT, is the latest therapy that slowly introduces tiny doses of the forbidden food. We actually start with one six hundredth of a peanut. In 2020, the FDA approved the first treatment for kids, 4 to 17, with a peanut allergy. Palforzia is a drug made from peanut flour. The goal of oral immunotherapy is to trick the child's body into thinking they're not allergic. A recent study found that 72% of people who suffer from a life-threatening peanut allergy didn't even know OIT existed. After one year of OIT, Adelina can now eat one peanut's worth of protein a day. Every morning, I, I mix in peanuts with something else, and I have to eat it. Just enough that her mother feels safer knowing that if Adelina does have a reaction, she'll survive it. I'm Marty Salt reporting.